Hiya, welcome back. Look at this. It is absolutely beautiful out here this morning. Uh, unfortunately, it's not going to stay that way, though. The wind is going to swing around to the east in the afternoon, so um, I got up at half past four this morning in order to get out and uh, catch the last of this little westerly wind before it turns around. Uh, we're at Beadnell. We're going to fish between the Point and the Newton Boy. I've got the soft plastics there. We're going to catch some cod, some wrasse, some pollock, maybe a bonus ling, probably a few cold fish, and who knows, a couple of mackie as well. I'll see you over there. Right, here we go, first drop. I've seen uh, loads of bait fish um, getting attacked by the mackerel on the way over. Uh, I'm not trying for those to start off with. We're going to look for a cod or a pollock. I've got my sidewinder on there. Let's just get down there, see if we can't catch some of it. I've set myself up for a nice drift. Um, we've still got some of the flood to go, about an hour and a half. So we'll still be heading south for a while. So I've set myself up that way. Uh, we're going to head towards the Newton Boy and... Uh, See what happens. God, it is absolutely beautiful out here. That sun's really bright because it's low in the sky and reflecting off the water. So uh, apologies if I've pulled me cap right down and you can't see me lovely face. There we go, we're on the bottom. Yes, we're in. <laughs> that didn't take long at all, did it? <laughs> Brilliant. I haven't set me drag either. I don't think it's uh, big enough to want to take drag, but uh, oh, I tell you what, it's having a canny go. Oh, how exciting. First fish of the day almost straight away. What have we got? Feels like a coddling. I think I'm right. Gosh, I can see it from a long way down. I can see it from about 30 foot down. Hey, that's not a bad fish to start the day with, I tell you. Get in. Well, that didn't take long, did it? About a minute at the most. Fantastic, there you go. First fish of the day, point the danger end away from yourself. Unless you want to get covered in cod sauce. Right, nice and gentle. And we'll just get you on the hook there, buddy. Oh, it's gone right through there. And into the bottom. Wait, wait, easy. Right, there he is. Took us by surprise, that fella. I'm still half asleep. Right, he's uh, managed to leave us a little message. Despite me best endeavours. Well, there you go. That's a great start, isn't it? Hey, we could be on for a cracking day. Brilliant. Let's get down there, get another one. Yes, we're in. <laughs> It's not very big, but it had a good few goes on the way down that. It's going to be a little coddling, I think. It is. <laughs> I was feathering that down and it had a few pops before it finally committed. Or maybe it was just so small I couldn't properly feel it. But anyway, it's another one in the bag. Get his big brother, eh? I'm going to swap my lure out. I'm going to stick something that looks a bit more fishy on. I'm going to stick with a sidewinder, though. But I am going to go with one of these. I can't remember what they're called. I think they're called mackerel or something like that. But we'll go with that one. And we'll give it a go. Oh, it's a minky whale. Whales behind us, look at that. That is insane. Let me go and see if I can find those. Gosh, that's amazing, isn't it? Well, I got slightly sidetracked by the minky whales there. Um, I don't think I managed to get any footage of them on my phone, but it was absolutely beautiful to see them. So uh, we're gonna reset the drift, but whilst we're heading over, I might as well just run you through my gear. Um, we've got, I've got the three and a half thousand size pen slammer on today. I picked the wrong reel up this morning. Normally I'd use me two and a half. I've got my pen prevail rod here. It's uh, rated up to 40 grams. It's an eight foot long rod this, but as I say, I always cut a few inches off the butt of an eight foot rod. Uh, on there, I've got some 0.13 millimeter spider wire stealth smooth around about, I want to say four or five foot of 20 pound fluorocarbon. And at the business end, I've got me uh, weedless sidewinder there, which I need to fix. 
See you over there. Right, we're going to live dangerously and give the metal a go because uh, Milua's fishing miles away from us, so um, I don't really have great contact with it. And of course, metals catch everything. So it's not like we're missing out on anything. Maybe not so good for the wrasse, but pretty much everything else will take the metals. So let's get down there. It's a razor claw. I think this is uh, 40 gram, this one. Yep, it is. Of course, what I don't want to do is get it right tangled up like that. Right. Come on. Straight down the bottom with the metal. As soon as we hit the bottom, we'll start jigging it. We'll take it up from the bottom about three or four foot and jig it. We're in. Yes, <laughs> we've got something on the metal. It feels like it's going to be it. Well, we lost it. You can see it on the sounder there. Whatever it was, it's gone. Damn it. Oh, it's been frustrating, hasn't it? There we go. We're on the bottom again. Oh, nearly snagged. Oh, I can't believe we missed that. We lost that. Oh, something just had a go. Nope. Oh, we're in. Oh, that feels all right, doesn't it? <laughs> wow. Let's get this up and have a look at it. What have we got here? Feels a little bit better, doesn't it? That's good. Switching to the metal seems to have worked. It's going round in circles. Like, I wonder if we've foul hooked it. That's a Pollock. It's a Pollock, but we have got it just round the back of the head, so... We'll try and get it away. I'm sure it will go. Yeah, that will be fine. There you go. First pollock of the trip. See you, pal. Whoop, and he's off. Yeah, he's fine. Right. Let's check that hook out, make sure it's all right. Yeah. We'll get back down there and we'll get another one. Well, it'll be nice to get a few pollock today, wouldn't it? That would be lovely. Well, so what have we had so far? We've had two codlin, one pollock, and uh, a show from the minky wheels. So it's not too bad, is it? That wind's dropping off as well. Dare I say it? Oh, I missed it! Damn it! Got that one. Yes. <laughs> oh, feels like a pollock feels like it might be a Pollock. Uh, maybe not, I'm not so sure now. Let's have a look. It gave a good first crash and dive, and then it stopped. It is a Ras. Get in. Well, metals and Ras aren't normally uh, two things I would put together, but um, this little fella, he certainly wanted that, didn't he? Let's get this out. Tough lips, Ras, you know, so it's a bit of an effort sometimes to get the hook out. Out the first bit. Come on. Nearly there. Out the second bit. It's just, uh, oh, if you just slow down, slow down. Slow down, buddy. Hey, 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 nice and calm. I don't want to squeeze him, you see, because he's getting a little bit of a, a prolapse there. There we go. Just a little bit. Jeez Louise, man. Right, I'm going to put him straight back. There you go, pal. And he's off. Goodness me. Just need to take your time when you've got a ras. We're only in 15 metres of water, but because we're coming up vertical, they haven't got time to adjust, you know, and ras, they don't really like coming up. He'll be all right, though. He's gone straight back down. Stressful, though. <laughs> oh, it might be a mackerel. I think the first mackerel of the session has arrived. It's only a matter of time, really, wasn't it? <laughs> as soon as we put the metal on, it was inevitable, really. There we'll go. Oh. It's a bit I don't like with mackerel, because often the lure comes off. At just this point, when you've got all the tension on it. There you go. Nice and settled, settled, calm. 
Right, so this should be fairly easy because we took the barb off the hook. See you, pal. Sorry, I didn't uh, didn't really give you a look at him, did I? Next one. Oh, we're in. Oh, it's a mackerel, isn't it? I might have to take the metal off. I might just have to take this metal off. Stick the soft plastics back on. We'll see. If we can get through them, though. Well, it's a flying fish, that one. Woo! It's going for it now, isn't he? Buddy, just get up here, will you? Come on. If I foul hooked it. No. He's given a good account of himself, though, wasn't he? Right, let's just uh, settle down. Shouldn't be too hard to get him off because, uh, like I say, crush the barb down on this hook. There we go. See you, pal. And he's off. See if we can get through them. See if we can't get ourselves another wrasse or maybe get ourselves a, another pollock. That would be nice. Right, so I'm not really drifting now, so I'm going to bring this drogue in. And uh, we might stick the soft plastics back on and have a bit of a cast around because I think we're coming up to high water because we've slowed right down. The wind has stopped as well, so that's obviously going to be helping. But uh, I'll just secure my rod first before we bring the drogue in because um, it's very easy to bump it out over the side, isn't it? So let me just get myself turned the right way around for this. There we go. So if you're not familiar with it, this is an anchor trolley. And what it means is I can position me drogue at the front or the back of the kayak because it's on a pulley and it's just attached uh, to the ropes that are already on my kayak. So I haven't had to do any drilling or anything like that because I'm uh, not a big fan of drilling me kayak. There we go. Got that over me leg there. And I think what we'll do is we'll reset this drift now, actually. You know that I've brought that in, we're going to reset this drift. Uh, we're going to find some nice ground just to sit over the top of, and I'm going to start casting the soft plastics around. See you at the other end. Right. Well, there are fish underneath us, so I'm going to get down there. I'm not going to switch to the soft plastics just yet. I'm just going to get this metal down there, because uh, I think time is of the essence. And we'll uh, see if we can get snagged up and lose it. I mean, we'll see if we can catch a fish. There we go, we're on the bottom. Yes, we're in. Brilliant. Oh, fantastic. Brilliant. <laughs> Just saw a load of bait fish come on the sounder and I was wondering if there'd be anything underneath them and this is definitely not a mackerel. Let's get it up and see what we've got. It's a codlin. I'm right in the chin, but I've crushed the barb, as I said before, so this should be kind of easy to get him out. And there he is. Just untangled myself there. Oop. There you go. See you, mate. There's a stack of them down there. Let's get out and get another one. Let's get straight back into them. Yes, we're in. Brilliant. <laughs> I don't know what it is yet. I think it's going to be a codlin. It feels quite noddy. So hopefully that's the fish coming on. I've had a few on this drift now. There we go. Hey, we're not going to win any prizes, but they're not going to be laughed at, are they? It seems every time there's a big shoal of bait fish on the sounder underneath them, whoop, juggling, is a shoal of codlin. 
I could do with a few more Pollock mine. It's been quiet for Pollock up here for me recently. I used to get loads of Pollock at Beedenal, but last year as well wasn't great for them, for me personally. I don't know if I'm doing something different or not, but yeah, I could do with a few more. That would be nice, right. The sound has gone bananas, absolutely bonkers. Oh, what's this? Oh, we're in. This feels all right. Oh, I wonder if it's a ras because it stopped fighting. So we'll take our time just in case because uh, the ras don't like coming up from a great depth. But it did put a, a, a good bend in to start off, didn't it? Still having a little go. Might be a codlin, I think. Maybe I've just foul hooked a codlin. Or a pollock. That's what we've got. Hey, <laughs> brilliant. Fantastic. That's not too bad, is it? Eh? Happily catch them all day. Put a bend in to start off, didn't he? Give yourself a little bit of slack there and we'll get them out. Shouldn't be too hard. Because I've crushed the barbs on the hooks. As I keep saying. Oh, easy. Easy. Whoops. There he is. See you, pal. And he's off. Now, oh, that was nice. So I've had a couple of pollock to today that was nearly a disaster that had gone in a little bit further well to be fair though as I keep saying I have crushed the barb so it might have come out but uh, yeah concentrate Chris let's get this down get another one of those that'll do there we are we're on the bottom yes in again <laughs> Brilliant. Feels like it might be another Pollock. Perhaps we've hit a little shoal of them down there. There's a load of bait fish I'm over the top of. I should say I'm over the top of a load of bait fish, so maybe these Pollock are working them from underneath. I mean, if it is a Pollock, I could get it up and have a look yet before I make myself look daft. It's a codlin, so of course I look daft. <laughs> But that's nice, a couple of fish off the bounce. Let's get this uh, unhooked and we'll get it away. There you go. Little beauty. Right, let's have another one. Let's check where I am on my sounder because this is a good little bit of ground, this. There's a nice little feature there underneath us. Hey, looks like we've even got a little bit of sunshine for this drift. Right, I'll put you over there. I'm thinking about putting the drogue out, but I, I probably won't because I think it's only going to slow down this tide and that wind has slightly dropped off. I mean, I don't want to speak too soon, but uh, we managed all right on the last drift without the drogue, so we'll, we'll not put it out just yet because fishing with the metals is, you know, you're much more likely to get snagged than with the weedless pl plastics. And when you've got the drogue out, it's such a hassle to bring the drogue in and go to go around the other side to get your lure back. So we'll uh, we'll go without it for now. But if it uh, if the current is too much with the wind, then we'll put the drogue out. Yes. I don't know what it is. Oh, it might be a mackerel. Damn it. I think it's going to be a mackerel. I think it's coming straight towards us. It's heading off to the right. <laughs> Darn it. We might go with the drogue and the soft plastic after this, I think. There we go. Calm yourself down. Give yourself a bit of slack to work with here. Easy. Having a mighty raj. There you go. See you, pal. And he's off. Right. We'll finish this drift out, then I think we're going to change. Oh, actually, we won't. We won't. We've come off the uh, rough ground there. So I'm going to um, have a little think while I head over there. I think I'll probably change tactics. Might even change location. But uh, anyway, I'll let you know when we get to the other end. See you in a bit. Right, we are very close to the point. Uh, you can probably see it in the background there. We're just going to have a little uh, fish around here. I'm going to let the wind drift us back over 
uh, this ground that's behind us because it's a nice little sort of bit of structure that pops up uh, we'll, we'll have a little go here for a little while and we'll see how we do I think I'm still drifting pretty far I'm not drifting as fast as I was that's all right we'll have a little go here for a while it's the wind that's mainly making us drift now rather than the tide and um, we'll see if we can't pull a few fish up and if not we might move a little further out for slack water but for now we'll just settle in here yes we're in <laughs> this feels all right get in <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's definitely pulling me string whatever this is I'm gonna take me time because of a fancy let's give up a bit so it might be a ras I could be wrong but uh, we'll just be careful anyway because it's always nice to make sure they go back in one piece and it is a ras get in <laughs> it's a little beaut that oh hey that is lovely Look at that. What a beauty. <coughs> Excuse me. What a beauty. Right, I'll try. And just get them away. With a little shake like that. That way we don't have to take them out of the water and squeeze them. So he's off. But you had a good look anyway, didn't you? So interestingly enough. I don't normally catch wrasse on metals. But that's two in one day. I normally get them on soft plastics. Oh, I'm in. I've got something on. Don't know what it is. It's not very big. Be a little mackerel, is it? Ah, I didn't know it was hooked. It was swimming towards us. Hey, we've had plenty of these today, haven't we? Nice and still. Oh, it's absolutely covered us in scales, this one. There you go. Another little fella. Right. Oh, watch this. Yes. <laughs> what have we got? I don't know what this is. Tiny. Oh. Right in the face. Cooley. Decided to uh, try and get his own back on his there, didn't he? It felt a little weird. I knew it wasn't uh, anything else we'd caught already today. Right, we're going to go a little bit further out. Flies all getting off with each other on me box there. Uh, we're going to go wherever I put me metal. Where did I put that metal? There it is. Right, we're going to go a little bit further out. Because there's not a lot happening in here. Uh, what a few fish. But I think we need to go uh, into the slightly deeper water now because it is slack water. So there's a little pinnacle about, I'm going to say, a quarter of a mile off the point. And whilst we've still got the weather for it, I'm just going to head over there and give it a couple of drifts because the it's pretty much slack water, but the wind is still providing us with a little bit of movement. It's uh, pushing us along at about one kilometre an hour. So we'll get out there and see if we can catch a few fish. Oh! It is absolutely gorgeous out here now. Right, so I've come slightly too far over the top of that, but I'm just going to cast back over myself, risk losing my lure, perhaps. But uh, I think it'll be worth it in case there's a fish or two down there. Get off, man. Flies everywhere. So the weather's nicer now, but the uh, downside of that is all the blinking flies are out. Oh, Matty, I think. Yeah. Right, we're going to have to change tactics. We're going to have to move and change tactics, I think. I don't have the stomach to sit out here and catch mackerel all day. As much fun as they are. I want some coddling. I want some pollock. But, there's another handsome lad for you. Um, we'll just get him unhooked and then uh, we'll get him back. So... Um, we're quite a bit further north. I've just crossed over some really nice ground. I've stuck the soft plastics back on 
I've had to go with a slightly bigger one because we're in uh, 20 meters of water so even though we're not really tooling along we're still drifting at about one one and a half kilometers an hour so I need the extra weight to get down there but we'll just drop it to the bottom and slowly wind it back up and this will be the last throw of the dice out here I think we might do a little bit more in the bay but I think this will be the last go out here uh, in the deeper water there we are we're on the bottom yes we're in <laughs> brilliant <laughs> fantastic just checking the sun isn't on the lens there I'll make sure to turn the kayak around when we get the fish up so you can have a look at it get in <laughs> I was just wondering there if I was able to stay in contact with me lure enough to catch a fish but I have caught quite a few fish when I've had me lure quite a long way behind the kayak off this point so I wasn't too concerned but here we'll go nice coddling look at that let's just uh, turn this around for you right point his butt away from us no it's determined to face the danger end towards us isn't he easy easy there we go right there he is there's a massive shoal underneath this so i'm going to get straight back down see if i can't get his big brother right come on then yeah there's loads of fish down there yes we're in brilliant <laughs> this feels weird what is going on with this thing <laughs> get it up and have a look at it they all feel quite big out here because of the tide and the depth come on what have we got what have we got oh, another nice coddling look at that oh hey might be the one of the, the fish of the day this one goodness me it's a good looking lad isn't he that one they're getting a little bit bigger aren't they easy it's doing a death roll on us now let's get this uh, hook out yeah lip there easy easy oh, oh, oh. give myself a bit of slack there and uh, we can maybe take our time and do this properly there we'll go oh stay still I just want to show you the people at home ow there he is not too bad see you later pal and he's off goodness me let's get back down there and get another one oh, he's wrecked me lure bear with us it's got a little hit off something oh I'm missing them got that one yes <laughs> had a good few goes didn't it before we finally nailed it get in I'm aware the lens is swinging round into the sun there but we'll sort that out in a little bit gosh this feels all right this but like I say they all feel canny big from 20 meters down when you're drifting against the tide because of the wind Come on, let's get it up and have a look at it. I'll just uh, turn the kayak around for you so you can see it when I get it out. Oh, it's hurting my arm a bit, this one. Gosh. <laughs> it's another chunky monkey, isn't it? Yes. Brilliant. Look at that. We've definitely hit the shoal of the bigger fish over here, haven't we? Easy tiger. There you go. Let me just stare uh, out. There he is. 
See you, pal. And he's off. Get in. Right, we'll have a few more of those. Thank you very much. So it was worth coming out here, wasn't it? And putting up with the chop and the wind over tide because uh, we're pulling a few fish in. Right, that's it. We're going to call it a day. Uh, I've really enjoyed myself and I've had some cracking fish, especially towards the end there. But um, it's getting a little bit wild out here, so it's time to go home. Uh, listen, do me a favour, would you, and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, I know I bang on about it every single week, but that's only because it makes such a massive difference to that pesky old YouTube algorithm. Of course, another thing that really helps with that algorithm is a thumbs up. So if you've enjoyed the video, please do give it one of those. And uh, if you want to ask us a question, suggest a venue, say hello, anything at all, do that in the comments section down below because I always reply. I'll catch you next time.